Okay, listen to me very carefully, my friend. Here's the deal. First, to steal the diamond, you need to get to a remote island. It doesn't exist on any map, and it's forbidden for ordinary people to be there. The diamond is in the heart of this place, inside a well-guarded deep underground bunker. It's impossible to get there through the main entrance. But lucky you, there's also a secret jail on the island. You can get there as a prisoner and then escape through the underground tunnel. That tunnel will lead you into the bunker. Then you should find the diamond. You'll have very little time for the whole operation. When you're done, a boat will be waiting for you in the southern part of the island. Do everything correctly and follow the plan, and then you'll encounter no problems. Got it? All right, let's go. You and other prisoners get into a helicopter and fly to the island. You're handcuffed. At one moment, the helicopter begins to shake. The pilot says you're falling. He puts on a parachute and jumps out of the helicopter. Take a look around and decide what to do next. Faster! You see the keys to your handcuffs hanging near the cabin. Then you get rid of the handcuffs. The prisoners ask you to release them too. But be careful, these people are dangerous. All three of them say they know how to fly a helicopter. Who will you believe? That guy with a tattoo with a helicopter on his leg. Maybe he's a good pilot. You remove his handcuffs and he admits he has lied. None of these people knows how to fly a helicopter. There's only one parachute left. The prisoner pushes you to the side, grabs the parachute, and jumps out of the falling helicopter. You decide to release the other prisoners too. What will you do next? Jump without a parachute? Try to land the helicopter on your own? The helicopter's pilot abandoned the vehicle because the landing was impossible. So you will not succeed either. You need to jump. You have been flying over the ocean, remember? Also, the helicopter is falling, so the height isn't that great. You jump into the water and swim toward the shore. Suddenly, you notice a shark's fin. It's quickly approaching you. What are you going to do? A. Try to swim to the shore as fast as possible. B. Don't swim anywhere and just float in the water. C. Dive and start waving your hands to scare the shark away. You need to stop. If you start swimming away, the shark will begin chasing you. Breathe in a lot of air and try not to make unnecessary movements. The shark will leave soon. But if it attacks, you'll have to attack back. Its gills and eyes are the animal's weak spots. Fortunately, the shark doesn't charge at you. It swims away, and you get to the shore safely. The island's guards are running out of the jungle. One of the prisoners who was with you in the helicopter is hiding in the bushes and invites you to join him. Where will you go? Let the guards catch you and take you to jail. Don't forget about your mission. They dress you in a yellow shirt and lead you away. You see many dangerous people. You're sitting at the table having lunch. There are three prisoners in front of you. One of them is going to escape. But who? That man with a book. A metal file serves him as a bookmark. Today, he will also try to escape. The underground tunnel leading from the prison to the bunker is located under the laundry room. You need to get out of your cell and get there. To do this, you have to get the metal file and pick the lock. Everyone goes out into the courtyard for a walk. You're following the man with the book. He sits down on the bench and hides the book under the seat. You need to distract him and get your hands on the book. You can use a basketball, dumbbells, or playing cards. What will you do? You can offer to work out with the dumbbells or play cards, but it will be difficult for you to get out of his sight. Start playing basketball. Throw the ball far away. The prisoner will run after it. Meanwhile, you'll take the book. So you grab the book but find no file inside. 
Instead of this, you find some money. It seems this guy has sold the tool to one of the other prisoners. You put the money in your pocket and look around the yard. Which of the prisoners can have the metal file? That guy is pressing his fingers to the sleeve of his shirt. Apparently, he's hiding the tool there. You're about to approach him, but one of the prisoners starts a fight. The guards are trying to prevent a riot. In all this chaos, someone hits you on the head and you lose consciousness. You wake up in a hospital ward. Oh no! You have almost no time left. The doors are locked. Several security guards are walking around. How can you get into the laundry room? In the corner, there's a huge cart with dirty laundry. Hide in there, and they'll take you to where you need to go. You hide among the dirty sheets. The cleaner takes the cart and transports you to the laundry room. He throws the linen into the washing machine and notices you. The cleaner is going to scream and call the guards. What will you do? You have some money, remember? You can pay for his silence. You move one of the washing machines and find a hatch under it. You climb inside and walk through the tunnel. It's very cold, wet, and dark here. Finally, you reach a small room. There are no windows and doors, only brick walls. What will you do? You can't go back. Among all these bricks, there's one sticking out of the wall. Try to push it. It worked! A secret door opens, and you step inside. You go down and find yourself in front of another iron door. You notice an oxygen tank with a mask lying nearby. You open the door and find yourself in an airlock room between two iron doors. One of the doors closes behind you. All the oxygen gets pumped out. You can't breathe, so you put on the mask. The second iron door opens, and you go inside. You see three tunnels. The first tunnel is filled with moving axes, blades, and other traps. High-voltage electric discharges flicker in the second tunnel. The third tunnel is burning with a bright flame. One of the threats is an illusion. Which tunnel will you choose? There's no air in the room, which means fire can't burn here. The flame is a hologram. You move on and find yourself in front of a dark room. It's so dark, you can't see what's inside. It seems to you that the diamond is there. Stop. What is this diamond? Who gave you this mission? What are you doing here? What's happening? At this moment, some unknown force pushes you forward. You step into the black void and fall. You find yourself floating in outer space. It's so cold and scary here. You feel tiny in the boundless universe. Suddenly, you see something shining. Is it a star or an asteroid? A bright light illuminates the black space around you. Good job, a heavy voice says. You reach out your hand and touch the light. At this moment, at a great speed, you start flying back through space and time. You're falling fast and land in a dirty room. Frightened, you get up and open the door. Oh, yes, sunlight! You finally get out of the bunker and find yourself on the island. There are two paths in front of you. One leads to the south, the other to the north. Which one will you choose? The boat is supposed to be waiting for you in the south, remember? You go through the jungle and find an old car. You start the engine and grab an MP3 player with headphones from the glove compartment. You drive along the road, listening to music, when you realize the brakes don't work. There are three ways ahead. A brick wall is waiting for you at the end of the first road. The second one leads to a swamp, and the third leads to a high hill with a cliff. Where are you going to drive? There's almost no time.
Release the gas pedal and drive up the hill. The car will start slowing down, and soon you'll be able to get out of it. You go through the jungle and find yourself on the shore. There's an old motorboat on the sand. You push it into the water, start the engine, and get in. After traveling for some time, you see rocks with shipwrecks next to them. You slow down and hear beautiful singing coming from the rocks. The singing is beckoning, and you direct your boat right toward the rocks. You're quickly approaching the place and can do nothing to stop the inevitable. What will you do? You have the MP3 player you found in the car. You put on the headphones, turn on cool epic music, and travel away. You're heading towards sunset, toward new adventures. And now, let's check your points. Zero to three points. You definitely shouldn't go on dangerous adventures. You may be able to pass the first test, but you aren't likely to get through all the trials. Four to seven points. It's better, but you still lack confidence. You might panic in an extreme situation. And panic is the main enemy of any adventurer. 8 to 11 points. You're not afraid of danger. You always move forward with confidence. But you need to work on your attention to detail and your logical thinking skills to be able to always get out of trouble. 12 to 14 points. You're a real adventurer. You can handle not only exhausting challenges, but also survive inexplicable strange situations that would drive other people mad. <laughs> On Monday, Ava got into a car accident. She got a concussion and broke her leg. Still, the very next day, her colleagues saw her riding a bike, and she looked perfectly fine. How is it possible? Look, the girl who got in the car accident has a tattoo on her ankle. The girl on the bike doesn't have one. The girl on the bike is Ava's twin sister. Elio is a student living alone in his college dorm room. One Friday night, there is a party in the dorm, and everyone from campus was invited. In the middle of the party, Caden found Elio poisoned in his room. A detective arrived for investigation. The three main suspects were Amelia, Giselle, and Max. All of them denied entering Elio's room. Who is guilty? It must be Giselle. Look at the bed. There's an earring. And Giselle is only wearing one earring that looks the same. Looks like she'd been in the room. Ayla stayed after classes to finish a project with her classmates. She left to get some food from the vending machine. But she found that her wallet had been stolen when she returned. She reported it to the police. The students denied stealing anything. The detective carefully looked at them and realized who lied. Who? Ayla. She went to get some food, which means the wallet was with her and no one could possibly steal it from her. A rich lady, Ms. Geneva Bell, was having fun in a club. In the middle of a party, she felt oh, someone no. stealing her million-dollar diamond necklace, but the person disappeared immediately. She instructed the security not to let anyone out and call the police. When the detective arrived, the security man said he didn't let anyone out but saw a man sneaking out through the back door. The guard was arrested. Why? Look, there's a huge lock on the back door. No one could leave through that door, so the security man lied. Mrs. Baker was living with her son Robert, who was a college student. She was working every day, and she didn't know that her son was skipping classes. One December morning, as usual, she left for work. When she returned, she realized that her son didn't drive to college, but she knew he had classes that day. How did she find it out? That night was snowfall. When Mrs. Baker left for work, Robert's car was covered in snow. 
when she returned, it was still covered in snow. If Robert had driven to college, he would have cleaned the car. Or at least the windshield. Esme was having a walk in a forest. In the evening, she headed home. There was one path that would take her home, but she took the other one leading to the witch's house. The witch and her grandson, who was staying at his grandma's, welcome Esme. This time, it was Esme's turn to make up a riddle. If they don't solve it, they'll have to give her the cat. I have two classmates who are identical twins. Inez was born in 2003, but Betty was born in 2004. How is it possible? They are twins, but they were born on New Year's night. Inez was born right before midnight, and Betty right after midnight. Can you tell which one of these men has a rich wife? The one on the left doesn't even have a wedding ring, so I'd say it's the man on the right. Okay, now look at these two. Who do you think has a dog? It's the guy on the left. Look, his shoes are all chewed. Must be his dog's job. Kaylin and Juliet are going to their friend's house to work on a group project. At least, that's what they told their parents. In reality, one of them is going on a date with her secret boyfriend, and she's going to meet him instead. Can you tell who? It's Kaylin. She's dressed too well for a study date, and no one normally wastes red lipstick for a group project. Amanda spent the whole summer in the countryside at her grandparents' house. Finally, she returned to her town, and two of her best friends came to the train station to meet her. Can you tell which one of the guys is secretly in love with her? Well, considering that the one on the left has flowers and candy for her, I'd say he probably likes her. Sydney and Louisa both failed their history test. Their mother grounded them and made them study all weekend. She was occasionally walking in the room to check on them. So she walked in again. Can you tell which teenager wasn't studying? It's Sydney. She's holding the book upside down. She must have grabbed it when she heard her mom walking in to pretend like she was studying. Look at these guys doing some housework. Who's not smart? That's the guy on the right. It's raining, but he's watering the flowers. Mrs. Riviera is a math teacher. She collected her students' homework, made them do a computer test, and started to grade the assignments during the class. She came across two very similar homework sheets and realized that one of the students copied the work of the other. Here are the students, Asher and Holden. Can you tell which one of them is the copycat? It's Asher. His hands are covered in fresh ink, which means he probably just did his homework right before the class. Mr. Reed came back home at night after another long shift. His wife was still up. He kissed her and went to bed. Mrs. Reed had been suspecting that her husband was cheating on her for a while already, and this time she wanted to know for sure. She decided to check his pockets. The next day, she told her husband that she knew he was cheating on her. Why? Look, there is a pair of keys in his pocket. His keys are hanging on the wall. So these are the keys from someone else's house. Ashley had a birthday party, and she invited some friends over. Liliana didn't want to go, so she lied that her mom grounded her and made her clean the room. Ashley was sad but understanding about it. 
To make it up to her, the next day, Liliana invited Ashley to her house to study together and to watch a movie in the evening. Ashley agreed, but at Liliana's house, she understood that she had lied to her. How? Liliana's room is still messy. If she had cleaned it the previous day, it'd be neat. A famous rich writer was living alone in a mansion and never went outside. The only people she ever saw were her cook, her gardener, and a cleaning man. One morning, before breakfast, the cleaning man found her poisoned in her room and called the police. The three of them were suspects. The cook was watching a cooking blog on YouTube. The cleaning man said he just came to start the job when he found the lady. The gardener was in the garden planting some flowers. Who poisoned the lady? It must be the cook. It happened right before breakfast, but he wasn't cooking anything. He knew the breakfast wouldn't be needed that morning. It was summer break, and Ariana's friends invited her to go camping. Ariana wasn't really into camping, but didn't want to admit that she'd rather stay at home and watch TV. So, she said that her parents invited her to go to Greece. In reality, she stayed at home and was binge-watching TV shows. Her family sent her a vacation photo. Ariana photoshopped herself there and sent it to her friends. When her friends saw the picture, they realized that Ariana wasn't in Greece. How? Ariana photoshopped herself, but her friends noticed that everyone in the picture except for her cast a shadow. Hallie works at a gas station in a city suburb. It was calm and quiet there. One day, she only had three customers. The first one got something to drink. The second one got some chocolate bars. And the third one just paid for gas. One of them was a criminal, and Hallie reported him to the police. Who was the criminal, and how did she understand it? The second man paid with a $25 bill. Such a bill doesn't exist, which means he'd been printing money. It was September 17th, and Annika was finally going to Spain for her vacation. She was living alone, so she sent all of her plants and her cat to her friend's house. On September 27th, she came back home. Once she walked in, she realized that someone was in her house while she was away. How did Annika understand it? Annika lived alone, but look, there's a tear-off calendar hanging on the wall. When she left, it was September 17th, but now it shows September 27th. This story happened a couple of centuries ago. Henry and Caroline were dating, but their families were against it. One day, Caroline's family decided to take her away to another city, but they didn't tell her which one. Henry and Caroline knew it was one of the two big cities nearby. Paris, which was on the left, or Berlin on the right. They agreed that Caroline would throw her scarf away when the train took off, and Henry would find her wherever she was. So here's where Henry found the scarf. Which way did the train go? If you throw something from a moving train, it flies in the opposite direction. Henry found the scarf on the right part of the train station, which means the train headed left to Paris. Spoiler! A couple of months later, he found Caroline there, and they lived happily ever after. Everyone who wants to work in a secret laboratory in the mysterious city of T has to pass a test. If you solve at least half of these riddles, you'll land the job. Level 1. Here, each correct answer will bring you one point. Even when it passes in front of the sun, It doesn't cast a shadow. What is it? It's the wind. Look at these logos of one of the largest sportswear manufacturers. Which is the correct one?
Look at these pretty fish. One of them is different from the rest. Which one is it? This one in the middle. Its eyes are slightly bigger than those of the others. Look at this rebus riddle. Can you figure out what it means? It's one in a million. Move one match to fix this equation. Right you are. Nine minus nine is indeed zero. Can you remove five matchsticks to get five equal triangles? That's how you do it. Tricky. Now, let's see how attentive you are. Look at these two logos. Which of them is the correct one? The one at the bottom. Two moms, two daughters, one granny, and one granddaughter enter a cafe. How many chairs will they need to sit around the table? Just three. Look at this image. It's filled with room, room, room. Can you find the odd word? Yep, there's a boom among all those rooms. What stones will you never find in a river? Dry ones, of course. Look at this rebus riddle. What does it mean? It's happy hour. Which Burger King logo is the correct one? It's the one on the right. You're only allowed to move one matchstick to make a square. How will you do it? Who said it was against the rules? James is carrying a barrel that weighs 60 pounds. What can the guy add to it to make it weigh 40 pounds? All James needs to add is a hole. No one said cheating is prohibited. Find the number that doesn't belong here. Right you are. 280 is different from all these 208s. Well, so far so good. Let's spice it up a bit. Level 2. Keep in mind that you'll get two points for each correct answer at this level. Look at these matches. Can you remove two matches to leave only four squares? That's how you do it. Great! Oof, these logos look pretty much the same to me. Which one is correct? The one on the top is the right one. Divide 30 by half and add 10. What will you get? The correct answer is 70. Most people divide 30 by 2, add 10, and get 25. But when you add a number by a fraction, you should actually multiply it by the number below the line called the denominator. This way, 30 times 2 plus 10 equals 70. Now, how about this? Look at these TikTok logos. Which one is the real logo of the world-famous app? No peeping.
Right, the lower layer is red. Then we've got black in the middle, and the turquoise layer is the top one. It took a witch eight years to finish digging the deepest well in the world. Every next year, she managed to double its depth. How many years did it take the well to reach half of its maximum depth? Seven years. If the witch doubled the well's depth every year, it had to be half its final depth the year before it was completed. How can you pop a balloon with a knife without bursting or losing air in the process? Deflate the balloon. Only after that, stick the knife through it. Which is the exact shadow of the fish on the left? Well, it was tough, but I found the correct one. You're playing table tennis when your last ball falls into a one foot deep narrow metal pipe embedded into the concrete floor. How can you get the ball out of the pipe if all you have is your tennis paddle, a plastic bottle filled with water, and your shoelaces? Pour the water from your bottle into the hole. The ball will float to the surface. You need to fill two empty sacks with coffee from the first sack. All three sacks are of the same size. How can you do it? Put one of the empty sacks into the other and then fill it with coffee. There are 100 books on the shelf. To count off 10 of them, you'll need 10 seconds. How much time will you spend counting off 80 books? Just 20 seconds. You'll need this time to count off 20 books, and the rest will make 80. Look at this picture. Who's the safest person here? It's the elderly lady who's driving the car. She will have no problems with her health whatsoever. Adam added 6 to 11 and got 5. It was the correct answer. How is it possible? It's correct if we talk about time. It's 11 a.m. If you add 6 hours, it'll be 5 p.m. Look at these logos. Which one is different? The logo on the left is the correct one. Pay attention to the robot's antenna. How can you take 1 from 19 and get 20? You can easily do it if you use Roman numerals. See for yourself. Three cats can catch three mice in three minutes. How long will it take ten cats to catch ten mice? The same three minutes. No more, no less. Wow, this level made me sweat a bit. Level three. Now this is the toughest level. That's why each correct answer equals three points. Let's start with a matchstick puzzle. How can you arrange to get three equal squares? This is the way to do it correctly. Can you figure out what's wrong in this picture? Roses don't grow on the seafloor. The same picture, but the mistake is different this time. Spiders don't live underwater. But then, where did this spider web come from? 
You need to get into your rival's computer, but it's password protected. The only hint you have is a note you found hidden under the keyboard. Can you figure out what the password is? It's moonlight. The number in front of each word refers to the corresponding letter of this word. An experimental clothing store decided to introduce a curious pricing scheme. According to it, a coat will cost $80, a pair of jeans will be $100, a raincoat will cost $160, and for a skirt, you will have to pay $80. Can you figure out how much a tie will cost in this store? $60. For each letter of the item's name, the store charges $20. There's a low railroad bridge in your town, and there's a car tunnel under it. One day, you spot a large truck. It's parked right in front of the tunnel. A confused driver is walking around the vehicle. You come up to him and ask what happened. It turns out that the truck is just a few inches higher than the allowed height. If the man drives inside, the car will get stuck. Unfortunately, there's no other road leading to the driver's destination. How can the truck get through the tunnel? You can suggest the driver should let the air out of the tires. It'll make the truck just the needed height. The driver can deal with the flat tires after passing through the tunnel. Look at this clock face. You need to divide it into three equal parts so that the sum of numbers inside these parts is the same. You can use no more than two lines. That's the way to go. The total of each part is 26. One woman could only use a payphone to make her calls. Once, the phone she'd been using broke. The woman informed the phone company. Several days had passed, but they did nothing. Then, the lady came to the company and asked to talk to the manager. After this conversation, the phone was immediately fixed. What did the woman say? She said she'd seen people making calls without paying. Look at this picture very attentively. Can you spot the mistake? Oh ho! You need to have excellent observation skills to notice this. You need to make sure that an egg falls 50 feet and doesn't break. You can't slow down its fall or cushion its landing. How will you do it? Drop the egg from a height bigger than 50 feet, and for the first 50 feet, it won't break. And now, probably the most exciting part of this test, your results. If your score is 0 to 25 points, you might need some more time before you get a job in the laboratory. Try to concentrate on details and don't forget to practice every day. If you've got 26 to 50 points, you're almost there. You might even get the position of a trainee in that super secret facility. And if you've got 51 to 75 points, those working in the secret research lab would be begging you to join them. Your logical thinking and analytical skills would definitely come in handy there.